Now let's turn the clock back a few years at Windy Hill to the days of Paul Vanderhaar, the Flying Dutchman. Now Vanders is one of my all-time favourite footballers, a builder of swimming pools, and he's a great bloke to sit down and have a yarn with, but he found himself in hot water more than once with former bomber coach Barry Davis because of his love of the good life. Barry was a very uh, dedicated uh, coach and footballer in his day and uh, I think he thought that everybody should have the same lifestyle and um, uh, it's one of the incidents that happened was that uh, when he first got appointed that he came out of the out of the change rooms one night and caught me having a smoke out the front and said oh, I'd heard about you that you do a, have a smoke and a drink and uh, said if you want to play league footy um, what do you think you can do about giving him up? I said well I am coming good. I said I have actually uh, Given up smoking dope so this day so far, he was pretty relieved. <laughs> well, you were having a few drinks Friday night, you must have had a bit of a hangover sometimes. No, I don't like bringing all these stories up, but I suppose another incident that comes to mind is um, I was actually it was in pre season and we were supposed to play a night game, and um, I didn't get picked for the seniors for the night game. and. Um, and I was supposed to play on the Saturday morning for the uh, for the reserves and uh, being only a practice game and I thought, oh, well, this is no big deal, but I ended up getting up too late and um, I uh, got down to the ground and I got there about half time through the reserves and uh, she had said, oh, what, well, your leg didn't pull up any good? And I said, nah, nah, it's not, not real good. I said, I'd rather not risk it at this stage. But it's just more because I'd done the wrong thing the night before and um, anyhow, it was in pre-season, so it was a nice hot sunny day and... Uh, I called around to a friend's place and um, we were supposed to actually go out sailing so I'd bought these cans and um, sitting there drinking waiting for these other people to turn up well I never got there so I thought oh, I'll just go back home and being about a 35 degree day that uh, I just sat around the pool and done a bit of gardening and uh, just having a drink during the day and you now I was just about to go out for dinner and um, got a phone call off Kevin Egan and it's about seven o'clock at night and said, um, said, look, Halves has just pulled out of the night game. Is there any chance of you coming down to, to play <laughs> play the game? I said, well, I'm not really all that good, Mitty. He said, um, and he said well, you, their only uh, option we got is you at this stage. So um, if your leg's no good, um, you know, it's only just in case we have to put you on. I said, all right, fair enough. So and I thought, well, I've had too much to drink already, so I couldn't, uh, couldn't drive down, so I'll bring a cab up to... <laughs> I rang a cab up to get down there and I just got him to pull in a milk bar because as I was going out for dinner I was getting pretty hungry by that time and uh, um, so I just pulled in, got a Mars bar and so forth and I didn't have to go on till uh, half time and the doctor had asked me and said, uh, how much have you had to drink today? And I said, oh, just a couple, I'll, I'll be alright and uh, he said, alright, because the team managers have been asking and they said they could smell it on my breath but uh, Anyhow, I came on the second half and done a few good things and um, it's the first time Sheeds has actually ever given me any praise for doing good on the ground, so he doesn't know that story. <laughs> Van Hal's one of the most courageous people I've ever met in the game. You know, he's, uh, he went for that sort of ball that you know, not many people would ever go for that sort of ball. Um, probably Kevin Walsh really stitched me up one night and Walshy, for all that I reckon everybody thought that he couldn't play, but I thought he could. And I was coaching the side one on a very important team meeting. Kev decided this particular night he, we sat in our co the coach's room and he got his brought his own remote control along with him. So anyhow, as, uh, we progressed into the video and that that uh, Kev had ever stuck under his little sheet. We all got a sheet on on stats and uh, players and that there, and he held his little remote control under the the sheet of paper. And I thought it was quite funny whenever she sort of rewinded it. Yes, Kevin had. Uh, Fast forward it. Then I rewinded it back and I fast forward it and he rewinded it fast forward again. And I was jeez, you know, and I didn't just, I just didn't pick what, what was happening. And the players just never ever smiled, not one of them. They just looked estranged, as if you are a hopeless coach, you know. <laughs>